101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. Keep it with your host, Christopher Boyd. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Thought on 101 Magazine Podcast here on iHeartRadio. You guys know what we do. We feature talented business owners, brands, and unique content creators, people of all sorts doing amazing things out here in society. And today, I have Dr. Betty Lay with me. Dr. Betty Lay, how are you doing today? I am great. Awesome. I'm happy to be here. Fantastic. For those who don't know... Dr. Betty Lay is in the pageant industry. She is a uh, very, very, very special, unique individual doing things for special, unique people. And Dr. Betty Lay, if you can start off this episode with giving the uh, listeners uh, uh, a little brief background of your history into the pageant industry, what drove you uh, and and inspired and motivated and really touched your heart to get into that industry? Okay, so to start with pageants, I've been up all the pageants since I was a little girl. Um, my first pageant, I was in the third grade. And ever since then, um, I love doing pageants. Um, every time, every chance that I could do one, every, every opportunity that I had, I took it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always knew that I wanted to start my own, have my own pageant system one day. I just didn't know how at the time, you know, being so young. And, yeah. But it wasn't until I got grown and got back into pageants and my daughter's. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was after, and that was after a really bad re- toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was also a former domestic violence victim. Okay. Um, so just taking back all my power. Um, mm. and honestly, being able when I got back at the patches, I realized that I wanted to use my the pageant system as a way to use my voice mm. to be able to speak out on domestic violence as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started with that, and also. Once I really buckled down and I started thinking and really getting invested into it, back, back into it and stuff, mm-hmm. it's, that's when I really start putting into like, okay, that, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This mm-hmm. I, this is what I want to do and I want to make a change. And it wasn't just about forming any pageant. Though. I didn't want just to do the ordinary pageant. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to stand out. I wanted to be different. Mm. And so I was talking to myself, what can I do? What matters can I do that's going to really stand out, really make a difference? And, you, you know, people, you know, make, you know, really mean something. Because mm-hmm. um, that's really important to me. And that's when I thought, well, I have a disability. Mm-hmm. My children as well have that same disability. And I know other people. And I know all that I had to go through because of my disability. And now, so I just know that there's others out there. Mm. That need some type of help and someone to speak out for them and be able to have that self-esteem and confidence. And pageants definitely can be that for you. They could definitely be that platform to help embrace your disability, help mm-hmm. give you a platform, give you everything that you may not get in school. Um, so that's when right then and there, I decided I wanted to have my own special needs pageant system and um so yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty dope now where are you based out where where city city state are is your pageant uh in your company based right now we're at the base that where we're actually based we're in lexington kentucky nice um we're actually but we're actually we have now have state directors Mm -hmm. so and our state directors are now in tennessee we also in Virginia. Mm. We're in Louisiana. We're wow. in. We was in Ohio. Uh, our state of director had to step down, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but um, hopefully we'll have another one soon. Mm. And we also have a state direct. We do have a state director actually in Kentucky as well. Nice, nice. And your company for those. Who- and I know I'm missing a few. Oh yeah, we also have some in Florida. We have oh, yeah, Florida. We have oh. a Florida state director, and we have a Levy County director. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. And the name of your company is Beautiful Sunshine Rose Special Needs National Pageants. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. That's exactly right. Awesome. 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 And you said you were diagnosed with ADHD and a learning disability. How did you, what, what work 
uh, did you have to go to overcome that diversity um, that you had to face? Because I know this is personal for you. I know you had did a lot of work, right? right? So can you give us insight so, on what you had to go through? Yeah, so one of the main things I really had to go through was really um, people finding out about me being disability, being in special needs classes, special education classes, being taunted, mm -hmm. you know, them saying, oh, she's in those retarded classes or, you know, people just making fun of me. So me learning how to overcome that, make myself stronger mm. um, and not letting the, their words get to me. And of course, when you're young and you're in middle school, and things, it's hard to ignore what people say. You know, your parents built you, they, they definitely built me to, you know, sticks and stones may break your bones, but we never hurt. But we all know that words can definitely hurt. Oh, yeah. And when, you, and when you're dealing with that every day, people, you know, saying stuff, whispering, and they acting like you can't hear, but you, you know that they're saying stuff about you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can really make you feel low. Mm -hmm. Um, And... I wasn't the one that really used my words back when I was younger, but I tried to definitely use my word. I wish I kind of didn't intend to lash out the way I did. Like I was, you know, somewhat of a fighter back in the day. <laughs> and, you know, cause that's how my parents taught me. Someone do something to you, you do something to them. But I'm here to say today, do not take that. If you're dealing with something, please try to talk it out. Please try because. It doesn't make it better, okay. even though that they are bullying you. They're making fun. You know, you you know, you may feel. I mean, you know, you're taking up for yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not a lot of times they don't make they don't give you a choice but to fight back because they just mm. you know they don't give you you know but you know to try to just find a if you can find a way to get away from it and ignore it and um, just continue to tell teachers tell your parents. Um, for me, I. I homeschool my children because I'm because I, I'm tired of the system of the school system and for that reason. Mm. Um, because sometimes the schools don't help. Sometimes they can't help, and so sometimes you just have to take matters into your own hands and just pull your kids out and be the teacher yourself or find a system, a homeschool system that works for them to where you could you still don't have to technically be the teacher, but mm -hmm. still be there to guide them and know what's going on from the comfort of your home. Wow, that's perfect. So, um, just dealing with the bullying and teasing for me, and then sometimes having to go home. I felt like when I didn't have to deal with it at school, I still sometimes had to deal with it at home because mm -hmm. my siblings, you know, when you're young, they, you know, they say things like, "Oh, that's why you in slow classes," even though they don't really mean it, mm -hmm. but it still hurts. Correct. And, Correct. You know, so um, they, they're not really understanding how those words affect you as you get older. Yeah. As well. Wow. Wow. But you still persevered and quite the scholar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. yes. Quite the scholar. That's why I'm impressed. I'm like, my goodness, you you are strong. You still literally, I mean, at your educational background is I've seen all these initials and letters. I said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. Yes. Um I received my honorary doctorate degree, PhD mm -hmm. degree in 2022, nah. and that meant a lot. That was a, a type of program where they, you know, it started out where they award, they look to award people doing really great things in their community. Like it was for a lot of people in the pageant system world, mm -hmm. but then they opened it up. They opened it up to more people that was not just in the pageant world, but also just doing great things within their community system, giving back. And, mm -hmm. and so what they do is doing all of this and you have to have so many years of certain things. Uh, you have to have certain criteria and mm -hmm. one of those being involved in your community. Nice. Um, they recognize you for that and all the good that you're doing. And they recognize, they give you a beautiful honorary doctorate trio degree. Mm -hmm. And so it's like three degrees in one. So yeah, it's, um, very exciting. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> How can supporters and listeners get involved and support your organization? Um, by getting involved, getting you know, coming to our Facebook page, liking, subscribing, mm -hmm. calling us, um, getting let getting the word out there to other people that you may know with special needs. Uh, the, especially those that you feel is struggling, they they you feel that they would really get out of it. 
Um, because we are not just about making money, but we are also about making sure that we help build them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you the tools that you need to succeed, excel. You get modeling opportunities. They get modeling opportunities. They also receive modeling contracts. Some may receive modeling contracts. But even if those that don't, I still scout myself for looking through mag you know, um magazines, people that put to be able to feature them in, mm -hmm. um, commercials, doing all types of I do my best to do so as much as I can um to get them out there. And then they're like they got a full time they got a year title to write for a full year. Nice. Um with the beautiful statue crown, building their platform, building themselves to better who they are. So if they struggle if they struggle with being in front of people being able to have that rain for a year, you get to be out, get better at talking in front of people, mm -hmm. get to, you know, do different community service activities. And, you know, um, you really get to become part of your community and rec recognize for that. And um, it's a wonderful pageant just to be around and to be with. Nice. Um, Any up, uh, upcoming events um, or opportunities coming up for anyone who want to get involved into an actual pageant? Well, our pad we're getting ready for the 2024 pageant season now. Okay. Um, we're our, um after this coming after the coming week that we're ready to go into, we will be on a two week break, um because of Christmas. Of but January 5th, um if you do not get in contact with me during this week, January 5th we'll start back up. We're able to recruit for our 2024 pageant season. Mm -hmm. If you um have a state director in your state, you will need to go directly to that director. Um, and then once you do the state pageant, you will come over to you. Then that's when you'd be directly come come to your national director, and we will get you ready for nationals. But you can still contact me, and I can get you over to your state director. Or if you are in a state with no director, then I would get you the process going. We also have a beautiful hardship program. Mm -hmm. So if you are a family that receives food stamps. Um, you don't have like you don't have that much income coming in. We do have that hardship there for those, well, and that would take some of the fee, some of the costs down off your registration fee. Mm -hmm. Um, and that will that will only go towards your registration fee because the optionals and the side awards, those are those are things that you do not have. Those are optional, so you do not have to do those if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. But the registration fee, um, it will take some funds off that to help you be able to join our uh, pageant and be able to have fun. If you're interested in being a sponsor, please contact me um, for that as well. And I would love to give you more information and, you know, and we also have a beautiful website. Fantastic. Well, there you go. Dr. Betty Lay is here. Thank you so much, Betty. I appreciate you so much for doing what you do, um, providing advocates and opportunities literally for uh, people um, who literally have special needs, but you're doing it with a loving heart. Uh, it's genuine. Uh, we can see your passion, your commitment to yourself, to your organization, to your children. Uh, we need more people out here doing the works like you. We appreciate you. And I just want to say thank you for all that you do in society. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. I enjoy doing Absolutely. it. Fantastic. Dr. Betty Lay, guys, is starting 101 Magazine. Her episode and her links to her social media that she referenced ep uh, earlier is actually going to be in the show notes of this episode. So you can definitely get in contact with her via her website, her social media platforms, Facebook, and things of those nature. Do, 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 do your due diligence and support. Support what's good. Support what's happening. Support what's, yeah. what matters in society. This matters. This organization is doing amazing things. They have my stamp, please, my guys that's listening, my listeners, my followers, support Dr. Betty Lay. That's coming from me. Her sponsorship and partnership opportunities will also be on the website. You can reach out to her directly and uh, support. That's what we need. 2024, she's gearing right back up. And it's going to be amazing for the pageant industry, for the pageant lovers out there, for the special needs uh, children out there and adults because she does it all. So start a one-on-one -on -one magazine. Yes. Dr. Betty Lay is in the building. We needed this great energy, positivity in society. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's Start of One One Magazine. Dr. Betty, I appreciate you again. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. You bye. Too. Okay. Bye-bye. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804 550 8647 or visit stardom101mag.net.
You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode, and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.